Here we are, Lou. Oh, look at this. Right, you need your cane. That's it. Find the gap. Good boy. Okay. And then if you squeeze past that. That's it. Want to show him around? Yes, yes, yes. So... Let me, let me get by you and then you can go back. That's me. You can go and sit back in that chair. Here you go. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So, oh, cool. So, we've got like basically different. Why don't you ask here. rather than saying? So, what? Where are these then? Um, we've got like. That's, that's basically an accelerator. There. There's different. There's this. Four speed settings. Yeah, so what's the top one then? Well, the, the one at the top is um, just stationary behind the point. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah. And there's four other power settings. Wow. One, two, four, which is the four. Um, so is that it's... what we were doing earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got, this is only a, a short night, so you, we probably don't need more than about half an hour, maybe. We do about 25 miles an hour, which is all we're legally allowed to do. So around, well, they can do 70. Wow. Uh, what, these right. particular ones? Yeah. It's a speedo over there. It goes up to 70. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's, it's like a car. This, this one here um, is a uh, gear control. It's got four gears. Ah. Like a car. Yeah. So... Uh, so it, it's like a bus in, in many respects. It, it, yeah, the engines are like old-fashioned bus engines in London. Have you ever been on a, uh, an old London bus? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. They have the same engines as them. Ah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Except there's there's two of them on this because it needs a bit more. Ah, uh, so that's why um, it was like. So that's why it feels all weird. Then. Well, you can hear you can hear the, the sort of red show up, right? and then it, then you hear it change gear, and then it goes into the second gear, and it's all yeah, and, um, a bit clanky and I clanky. Could, I could tell when we were when we were getting ready to accelerate. It was like it was like a it was doing this, and then went into. That's right. Yeah, that's when when it changes gear. That's right. <laughs> exactly the same as a car. Wow. But then, how do you like kind of off and back on again? How do you... Like, kind of off and then back on again? Like, if, um... Well, you would, you would accelerate, like that. Yeah, but, and like... And then, when you need to change it, you... you take the power back off, and then you would put this into second gear. Or whichever one. Or whichever gear you needed. And then put the power back on again. Yeah, but then, like, I'm just thinking, like, if, um, if it's, like, wasting fuel, what would it be like if... This is this is pretty good fuel economy, but it, this was built in 1958, ah. and people weren't that bothered about um, fuel economy. So it doesn't do many miles to a gallon. Ah, well, that's good. So, so how come you like keep it running then? Because um, this gauge here is an air pressure gauge. All these controls operate on air. They're pneumatic. That, that you need uh, about 18 pounds wow. square inch, a big reservoir wow. to make it work. And if wow. you turn the engines off, you lose the air. Ah, okay. So to start it, if you turn the engine off now, you couldn't just turn it on and just let it go. You'd have to turn it on, switch the engines back on, and wait and wait and wait and wait for the air to build up before you can control it with these controls. Yeah, and we're actually ready to go. Yeah. How long does that yeah. take? Only take. Um, 10, 15 minutes from, wow. from, from zero. Wow. So you wouldn't want to just turn it off for a laugh, Lucas, would you? You could, <laughs> for a few, few minutes it, it'll be alright, but, uh, but over time it will, it will, it will, you know, if you leave it an hour or so, you'll, you'll come back and it'll be 30 and overnight it'll be, you know, nothing at all. So, so like, how long does it actually take to start back up again? Like, um, so do like, do, do Well, the engines will start, you see. The engines are fine, but, but then you can't control the engine until you've got air pressure and the end and the engines themselves drive a compressor which is something that builds up the air pressure. Yeah but then like does it just go like for a few seconds and then just does it go like 
No, no, the, no, the engines were, the, they, they're pretty good at starting. They, they just, they, they're straight into life, but essentially they can't do anything with them until, until it's built up, yeah. Oh, wow. So, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not like a modern train where you just switch on and go. Yeah, not like a Southwest one then. No. Because that's what our um, local one is. Southwest. Where are you? Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've just come back from Hailing Island. It's ah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I went, went to the Isle of Wight on the, uh, on the hovercraft. Oh, fun. Which is, which is nice. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Cool. And where oh, are the brakes? This is the brake. Oh, and there's, there's a handle that looks at the other end now. But it, it, the handle that fits onto that and um, detached so you can't, oh. you, you can't make a mistake. Actually... Lou, Lou, it can't go without the people. This, this is the driver, right? Aye. Yeah, so don't panic. And you it, can it, listen, it's, it's you can key. relax. Yeah, yeah. We're not going don't to... worry. I promise you. Because <laughs> that would be so weird if, um, like, if someone... Um, you see, scary, if, was, if there was one actually just in there, then if someone... We are the only thing that's moving today on this railway. So, how come it's just this one then? Well, that's all we need today. We oh, just what, go up and down. What, because it isn't like really hectic? It's, it's not a hugely busy day today. Now tomorrow it'll be these coaches and a steam engine. On the right. Ah, right, okay, so... But today, Saturdays are always slightly less busy than Sundays. Oh, I didn't know it was these on these days. You see, um, we only do the sense special ones, you see. Oh, yeah. We have done that, this one, for the last three years, haven't we? The Santa Special, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but Steam have been running that service. Yeah, that's right. And what's the big wheel in the middle? This is a handbrake. Luke, have a look at it, it's massive. Give me your cane for a sec. Oh, so is that... So how do you hear the... <coughs> and stuff then? That, that's the actual brake, but when we, when we turn it off, the... This is this is the brake pressure, this side, and it's at zero so, at the moment, which means the brakes are fully on. When we release it, it goes up to 21, and that's then fully off. Whoa, but over time... And then, when and then we, we can head off? Well, yeah, yeah but once, once we've stopped, the brakes will eventually leak off. And so, if I left this without putting the handbrake on, like that. in the middle of the night, tonight, <laughs> it would roll back down the hill and probably end up in the, the stream or something, which <laughs> would be the end. So, so is it the kind of thing you check three times before you leave? Yes. Because yeah. you wouldn't want to wake up in the middle of the night and think, oh my goodness, I've got to put the handbrake on. No, no. Oh. That would be bad. Yeah. And so, this is physically connected just to the brakes and it, we, we turn it on and, it, and it, the brake shoes are manually held against the wheel so it doesn't, doesn't So it really squeezes do. the wheels, Lucas. Put the brake on. Put the brake on. Okay. Yeah, keep turning it around. Go, 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 go Lucas. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really 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 good. Yeah, Use so, those muscles. You've got to really, you've got to really, have to be honest. Yeah. This is 1950s technology. <laughs> you have so, to really, and then finally, when it's nice and tight, like the little that, catch over so that, like so so. that it can't, it can't. So, you can feel so it, Lou, like, now it doesn't so, turn. So look, that can be the same, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. And what's the red thing on the right? That's an emergency brake. Okay. So if, I mean, so, the, the driver's brake there, but if the guard was here, like, so... Saw something or whatever, yeah. you just do that then. Feel that, Lou. It's like a lever that you lift up. <laughs> oh, Ready? Cool. Da- down yeah. a bit. Just, just a bit. There. That's it. Oh, wow. And no, no, pull, pull that up. Now, we can't... Um, right, actually, there, there's nothing at the moment because there's no vacuum. Because the, uh, well, the we're not rest. actually... But when we're running... This is engaged with air so that you can't move that and if you pull that up you go and all the air would rush in, destroy the vacuum that holds the brakes off and And buy all the brakes pretty quickly. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. And you also wanted to know about the horn, didn't you Lucas? Oh yeah. The two-tone horn. Yeah, okay. The horn, uh, if you just move over there, because it was like a little thing that's sticking out, that lever. Oh, cool. 
Do you want to do it? Ready? Go on. One turn Ready? Go on. And then press it, press it down. So. That's it. So, like. Because um, I knew that on some southwest services it goes when That's they right. come past pretty quickly. Would well, you know why trains have two horns and not just one? Why? Because when when diesel trains were around, it was the the time when cars were increasingly popular. People were driving cars, and to make so the difference between a car and a train, it was decided to give trains two sounds, so you'd, you'd know it was a train, not a car. Yeah, but then how come? Because the other ones are do do. Yeah. It's um this one's do do. How can some other others? I I don't know. Some of them sound as though there's a dead chicken stuffed up them. Yeah, <laughs> just, like, it just depends. Like on that it. top, <laughs> like that bottom one. You know when you kind of lift it up and it goes. Mm. You noticed they, it went from a C sharp to a, a D to yeah, a C sharp, it was, didn't it? It was quite a full last then. It should <laughs> they should be G flat and E flat, apparently. So oh, really? Minor, so, minor third. That's not what you heard, is it? No, it was D. So you said it was a so G, G and a D. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the first one. <laughs> you know, like first when we first left. And it's probably different up there as well because there's there's two sets of horns down here and two up there. Ah, so, so you're they will be different. To, so you're gonna have to go. So how do you basically get to the other side then? Like we just, to just, form the service back. We just walk to the other end. Well, so there's, like there's up those steps? No, right, right back where you, where you came. Right to the other end of the train. Oh, nice. That so, cab is identical to this one. Oh, cool. With a handbrake and everything exactly the same. So, so basically you're worse again? Yep. So all, then, we, all we do is just watch the rails. We go wherever the rails go. Yeah, we but can't, then we can't how, does it, how does it happen then? Because the, the, there's two flanges on the inside of the wheels uh, which which keep keep the wheels on the line wherever the line goes it the wheels will follow the line and so wherever they lay the track that's where the train goes ah okay and all we do is stop it and start it in the right places oh cool and blow the horn quite a lot and blow the, blow yeah. the horn whenever there's a danger of someone being on the line or a so gate like, or... so like how come because oh yeah you did a few we had at least three, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. a couple. I managed to get on camera. There's well, there's a farm crossing where the, where there's a tractor driver. He regularly, he's got fields on both sides of the line, so he regularly goes across the. So we have to warn him if he's around. There's a footpath <laughs> where people with dogs. Um, there's a right of way that goes across the, the railway. And if they've got their uh, music on, they can't hear us coming. It's a good, good idea to try and warn them. Yeah, that's definitely a powerful one to do that. Yeah. And there's another one up, there's another footpath. It's just wherever there's a, a, a crossing that goes across the line, really. Best, okay. best to be safe. Really. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> are we done? Are you happy? Mm -hmm. What do we say? Don't worry, Lou, it won't go without us, okay? It yes. won't go. Ah. You're all right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. okay. That was nice. Thanks, Thanks for coming. 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 Thanks